When I'm not stuck programming at my desk, I love to exercise outside. I love to run, mountain bike, hike, ski, walk, you name it. And that's one of the reasons when I quit ExxonMobil and I could move anywhere in the world, I chose this specific part of Utah where I'm still very close to the mountains and ski resort, but it doesn't cost me millions of dollars. And to record all these outdoor activities, I use an app called Strava, which is a fitness tracker and social media for outdoor exercising. In this video, we'll use Power BI to display the Strava data that lets me understand my exercise routine and what my activities have been over the last few years in a new light. And by the way, my name is Avery Smith. I'm doing 30 data science projects in 30 days, and I will give you my Power BI file and my data so you can recreate this project on your own. All you need to do is click the link in the description down below. A few of you might already use Strava. If so, that's awesome. I'll show you how to get your data in the next section of the video. For those who don't use Strava, feel free to use mine, or you can start using Strava. It's absolutely free. You can download it on your phone and go for a run or a walk and record it, and then you'll be able to get that data into Power BI later. Start by going to strava.com and clicking login. From there, go to your profile picture up here, Go to settings, click on my account on the left hand side, scroll down to the bottom where it says download or delete your account and press get started. From there, the number two point, it'll say download request and you'll be able to request your archive right here. You can see that I've already done it this week so I can't do it again, but you should be able to click this and within 24 hours they should send you an email. That email will look like this and all you need to do is click this button right here to get a big zip of all the files. That zip file will have a ton of different CSVs with different information in it. Also include a bunch of the GPS files for each activity that you do. The one in particular we're going to be looking at is the activities data. It'll look like this. It'll have the activity date, the name, the type, any description that I add in, the amount of time, the moving time, the distance, max speed, elevation gain, and a couple other fields as well. Open up a blank Power BI file, click get the data right here, select CSV right here, hit connect, and choose your activities CSV and hit open. It'll give you a little preview, press load. This is what we want our end result to look like. We're basically going to give it a title, a date filter, going to give the number of activities and the total time and then an activity breakdown as well as a scatter plot of time versus the distance. So this is what we are aiming for. Let's go ahead and get started. Start off by pressing this text box right here and we're going to call it Avery's Strava dashboard. We'll also give it maybe a little bit bigger, something like a 36, bold it and reshape it so it fits all in one line and center it. Next, let's add that date slicer since it's going to be really important. Click on the slicer, go to activities, and we're going to find the activity date. Drag that in right here. And there we go. We have an activity date slicer right there that we can drag up towards the top. That will be a filter for the entire page. Let's get the activity count. So I'm going to use that as this guy right here, which is called a card. We can just take the activity ID and do a count basically. So there we go, it automatically did that. The count of the activity ID, that's going to be how many exercises or activities I had. I just wanna rename it for this visual and I'm gonna call it number of act or exercises maybe? Yeah, number of activities sounds good, activities. Resize this and move it up to the uh, top right up there. This will be a big KPI that's, that's important to look at. Something like that looks great. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste this and put it next to it. But this is going to be the number of like hours or minutes that we particularly spent. So if you look at our data, we'll see there is a field here called elapsed time. And that is how many seconds you spent doing that activity. Now seconds isn't like something that I usually track my workouts in. And so what I'm gonna do is click this up here and we're going to, actually we're gonna right click on it, sorry. We're gonna create a new column and I'm gonna call this time in minutes, okay? So I'm just gonna call it time min for minutes and I'm going to set it equal to the time, which is the elapsed time. We're gonna divide that by 60 and that'll be the amount of time in minutes that particular workout is. So you see this is 80, 40, that makes a lot more sense. So go back over here, instead of number activities, we're gonna to go to that new column called time in minutes, drag that up there, let's see. Okay, there we go, there is time in minutes. Now that is going to be in sum. So let's go ahead and look at the sum. And there we go, you see it's 33,000 minutes spent. Now notice if I drag this over here, these update as well, right? So this is all dynamic based off of this date filter right there. Next, we can make that uh, scatter plot. So for instance, we bring the scatter plot down here. We know we're looking at the time in minutes as one of the axes. Maybe we'll have that be the X axis. And then we have the distance, right? So we need to go find the distance column. Let's see, distance, put that in for the Y. 
There you go. We're not going to summarize these at all. Let's make sure that they're not summarized. There we are. So you see those the time and the distance right there. Now we want to put the colors on there. Will that be by the activity type, which is basically if it's a run or if it is a bike. So we'll put the legend right there. There we have all of our different uh, activities that we're doing in particular. Move this up here and kind of resize it to allow for that uh, bar chart to be on there. Also just double check these tool tips to see what's on there. So we have the run, the amount of time, and amount of the distance. Wow, I didn't run very far. This is kind of a weird one. But you might also want to add the uh, name or the description, right? Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Let's go check. It's on the left-hand side of the table. It is called the activity description. So let's just add the activity description right here into the tooltips so that you can maybe learn a little bit more insight. Let's see, this one doesn't have one. But like for instance up here, this was, uh, that one doesn't have one either. Let's see, wow, none of these have any? There we go, mark my words, I am done hiking Timp in the dark by myself. So that's uh, Timpanogos, that's a hike nearby. You see I did 25 miles and it took 545 minutes. Maybe we'll look at this one right here, what is this one? I don't know what that one is either. So I should do a better job writing these descriptions while I'm actually doing the activities. Next, we'll move on to that bar chart we wanted to make. So that bar chart is basically, we're gonna come up to here and look for the clustered bar chart. We'll just go ahead and drag the activity type to the y-axis and the activity uh, type to the x-axis as well. You'll see that I'm actually created that plot for me. We can do a few things to make this just a little bit nicer. Go over here to the format, your visual. We're gonna turn on the data labels so that way we see the numbers right there. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and mess with the bar colors just a little bit. We can make it a formula based off of the count. So that way these is a little bit more blue. Maybe we turn off the legend because I think it's kind of indicative. And uh, maybe we just change the uh, title as well. So we'll just say this uh, activity break down. There we go. And this is basically what we are trying to build, right? I mean, this and this are pretty much the exact same. So we'll go ahead and just save this and you can publish this to basically Power BI and depending on your, your account. But I think this was a really easy dashboard to see my activity and how it changes. We can use the filter up the top. Love that. So I could just look at like, for instance, the last maybe year would be right here ish. This is the last year I've done 72 workouts. I've done a lot of riding the last year versus if we were to look earlier and not include this year, I've done a lot more runs. I've recently gotten a lot more into biking. There you have it, how to hook up your Strava data and create a dashboard in Power BI. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and the like button helps other people find this video. And check out these two videos over here. I think you'll like them as well. Bye.